Okay, welcome to the bar today. So let's get started. We are going to come to our mat with our feet in parallel and hip distance apart. So remember to set yourself up properly, sorry. Set yourself up properly, have the, those feet hip distance, so directly under, in line with your sit bones. And we're gonna put our hands on our hips. We're just gonna gently bend the knees and extend, fully contracting through the quads. And extend, and bend, extend. Breathe. Two, one, stand up tall. We're gonna to start to spring those feet off the floor like we always do, soft bend in the knees, and we just march. A little bit of a march, keeping the pelvis nice and still, one leg after the other, breathing, finding that connection with the center of our body. And let's start to swing our arms. Keep moving, long, you can lift those legs as high as you want, or keep them nice and low, but just keep breathing and moving. Keeping the pelvis connected by using the belly. If you feel any little niggles in your hip, in your hips, in your hip flexors, just laterally rotate the legs a little bit or change the range of movement just to make sure that as your hips warm up that you're not putting any strain on that ball and socket. Okay? We're going to reach the arms up overhead now. Hold them up and march. Hold and march. Three, two, one, now we're gonna lower and lift the arms. Down and lift. So again, just challenging another lever. Down and lift. Four, three, two, one. Open the side and up, down, up, down. So near the muscular coordination here. Up and down. Four more. Four, three, Using the belly, one, pull them down, let's turn, 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 turn. So remember you're a corkscrew. You are spinning on that center axis. The legs tend to wanna to do this, that's okay, but try and keep them going straight. We're warming up those quads to get us ready for being at the bar. Turn, four, three, two, one, back to center, walk the hands. Reach, reach, reach. Keep breathing. And four, three, two, one, hands to the waist. Four, three, two, we're gonna spin those legs out to the sides. Now one, here we go, kick it out. Out. So you're starting to bring yourself in a gentle first position. Think about pointing those toes to kick it out. Four, three, keeping the hips still. One, now we're just gonna kick the right. Eight, seven, six, just tap the foot. Four, three, two, other side, bring it down. Eight, seven, six, so finding that balance. Four, <laughs> three, to bring it down now and first and bend and stand tall bend and tall so you can see there's a little space between my heels i'm not totally closed in at the feet four three two fully squeeze that orange between the thighs here we go let's open it out to a, a, a comfortable second position and bend the knees and we're going to reach so we're going to reach it up and straighten the leg and down other side up and down, up and down, reach, reach, four, three, and reach, two, and reach, last one on each side, and reach, now we're going to side bend, and over and down, other side, over and down, over, nice rainbow with the arms, and down. Keep on reaching, reach. Keep pulling that belly in. Remember, we're working the sideline of the body here, working those obliques. We've got three, over, two, over. Last one, reach, down, over, down. Hands in front of the chest, and let's go down. Two, open the knees up wide. Check your knees are tracking over those feet. Three, four, Four, three, 
two, and one. Let's lift the right heel. Two, three, four, four, three, two, and one. Put it down, lift the left. Eight, seven, six. Remember those arms are active. Four, three, two, put it down. Alternate side, right and down. Left and down. Keep pushing the knees out, up and down. Four more, four, down, three, down, two, one, push it down, stand up, tall, walk those feet into parallel, and from here we're going to do leg lifts, so you're going to point your toe, you're going to slide the foot forward, pointing the toe so it's active, and then you're going to flex it to draw it in, point and flex, point and flex, so my hips are staying really still, the movement is coming from the hip flexor, point and flex, point and flex, four, Three, nice and strong on that supporting leg. One, flex it in, now point it up, open to the side. You might want your balance point for this, open to the side. In, out, in, keeping that balance, keep the belly pulled in. Open, in, open, last two, open, one, open, out, now flex it in, and lift, in, and lift, in, so keeping, the hips square to the front, flexing it in, and point, flex, and point, squeezing the inner thigh, and point, last three, lift, two, lift, one, lift it up, bend the knee, and flick, in, and flick, pull it in, so find that contraction, and lift, pull, and lift, four, three, two, one, kick it out, sweep it around to the front, bring it in and down. Here we go. Let's just walk. Walk on the heels. And you don't need to transfer your position because you don't need to face the same direction the whole time. And we're going to move to the left. So get your right leg stable. Come up on the ball of the left foot. Point the toe and sweep it out. Get that nice extension. Belly pulled in. Here we go. We're going to flex, pull it in. Point and flex. Point and flex. Long through the spine. Point and flex. Eight. Seven. Keep breathing. Six. Strong through that supporting leg. Four. Three. Two. One. Now open to the side. Close it in. And open. In. And open. In. And open, it doesn't need to be high here. Open, four, three, keep that belly connected. Two, one, out to the side, now flex it in and lift. Flex and lift, flex and lift from the side of the bum. Lift, flex, point, flex, point, four, three, two, one, point it up, now pull it in and flick, in and flick, in and flick, four, and passe, two, one, flick it out around to the front, place it down and walk, 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 good job, three, two, one, now let's still those feet, open them out to a comfortable hip distance, and we're going to peel both heels up together, place them down. Lift, you can open your arms out to the front if you've got that balance, or stay close to your balance point, lower. Find the weight into those big toes, so make sure you're pushing the big toes into the ground, not sickling through that foot. And down, we've got three more, three, two, one, bring it down, gentle plie, flat foot, and lift. And lift. Finding that connection with the back of the body. And lift. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it up. Good job. Okay. We're going to move on. So make sure you have your balance point here. And we're going to keep those feet hip distance to start with in our parallel. And we're going to peel those heels right up into those Barbie feet. Okay? 
So your left, your right arm will be at your support. Your left arm is out in front, active through the arm. And here we go. We're going to plie straight down, knees over toes. Slow for our first couple. Contract those quads. Knees over toes. Pulling it up. Make sure you're sliding down that wall. We're not sticking our bum out too much. We're challenging the muscles in the thighs by keeping that plantar flexion in the heel. Down and lift. Two more like this. And lift one more. And lift. Now we're going to come down and pulse. So come lower and lower. Keep the chest lifted. Keep the belly pulled in. Pulse. Two, three, four, four, three, two, and one. Lift it up. Now lift the hands up and then bring it down. And up a little bit faster. Now down and up. Chest tight. Overhead. Chest tight. Overhead. First. Fifth. First. Fifth. Keep that connection between the inner thighs so they're not wobbling in and out. Out. Here we go. Two more. And we're going to come down for two and up for one. So we go down, down, push it up. Down, down, push it up. Down, down, push it up. Really challenge that. Down and lift. Down, down and lift. Two more. Down, down and lift. Last one. Down and now we come down and pulse. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift it up. Lower those heels. Give your legs a little jiggle. Good job. Let's spin them into our first position now. Make it a gentle first. Only as much as feels comfortable for your body, but you want that rotation to come from the hip, not from the feet. If you just do the feet, your knees are going to be sore. So you want to make sure it's the outside of the hip spinning you out. So you have that comfortable out turn and your knees are going to go over your toes. So get that good connection. Squeeze those heels together and then lift them up just a little bit. You can transfer your balance coming to the other side. Arm out in front and here we go. We're going down, 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 push away. Down, 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 push away. Down, keeping the belly pulled in towards the spine. Squeezing the heels together will help keep that glute connection. Down, 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 lift it up. Three more. Reach those knees out wide and tall. Belly in. Two, three, squeeze the thighs together. Last one. Two, three, lift it up. Now singles down and lift. Down and lift. Squeeze those heels. If you need to, you can lower them and lift. Four, three, two, one. Lift it up. Now come and pulse, 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 pulse. Squeeze the heels. Lift the pelvic floor. Active in that arm. Four, three, two, one. Onto singles. Lift it up and down. Lift. Down, three, four, keep the belly pulled in, four, three, two, one, back to pulse, two, three, four, four, three, two, and one. Now from here, we're going to lower those heels, stand up tall, spin the feet into first, and then spin the feet back to your first position, everything glued in. And then we're going to pick those heels up and open and close the knees. So come down. Now you're going to squeeze them in. Open. In. Open. In. Open. So you see the heels come together as I squeeze. Open. Push it out. Squeeze it in. Three. Two. Belly's lifted. Chest is lifted. Here we go. Pulse it out. Squeeze. 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 Push it out. Out, squeeze the heels together, out, four, three, two, one, and tall, lower those heels, good job. Let's open to a nice wide second position here, and we're going to bring the arms to first, you won't need your balance point for this one, well, you might need it, but hopefully you can find that connection with your core. We're going to come down to our nice low plie, and let's pulse, two, three, four, Four, three, two, eight more. Eight, seven, 
six, lift the pelvic floor, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna tongue dip. So you're gonna reach the leg, lift the heel, bring it down and reach, down and reach. So you're pointing that toe and reaching. Arms are in front, down, reach. Let's kick it up, reach. Contract that quad completely, reach. Lift and reach, four more, four, three, two, one. Now just keep the right heel lifted down, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Other side, down, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Now let's lift both and lower, stay still, both and lower, lift and squeeze. Use your balance if you need to, and squeeze, four more. Four, squeeze, three, two, one, and lower. From here, we're gonna pick up that back heel, spin ourselves around into our crescent lunge. So squeeze the glute, knee comes down, facing your balance point, heel is lifted. You can also lift your, your front leg if you would like to, or keep it down, and we're gonna lunge down, so we go, down and lift, straighten that leg. Down, back leg straight. Down and lift, down and lift. Four more, four, <clears throat> three, squeeze the glute. Two, one, now come down and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we're gonna start to kick it up. So we go down and lift. This is your first lift, make sure you protect that lower back. Have your hands ready to come onto your balance point like this if you need to, okay? So let's come into that lunge and we'll do it together here. We go crescent lunge, squeeze the glute. Crescent lunge, squeeze. Down and lift. Down and lift. Four, squeeze. Three, lift. Two, lift. Last one. Now hold it up and pulse. Two, three, four. Four, soft bend in your supporting leg. Two, and one, lower and lift. Tap and lift. Keep that leg in parallel. Remember, you can bring your forearms down to reduce that extension of the lower lumbar spine, but you wanna have those abdominals connected. And lift, we've got three more. Three, two, one, lift it up, back to crescent lunge. Crescent lunge, lift. Crescent lunge, lift. Four, three, Two, one, lift it up, now come down and pulse on your crescent lunge. Pulse, two, three, four. We're gonna step the right leg in to meet the left. Two, one, step it in. Two, three, four, squeeze those inner thighs together. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna lift the heels and lower. Lift and lower. Stay low in your chair, belly pulled in. Lift and lower. Four, three, two, one. Keep them up and pulse. Two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna step, come up and step the left leg back into your lunge. Find that connection with the glute and come down into that crescent lunge. Here we go. Down, straighten the leg. Down, straighten the back leg. Squeeze that glute up, down and lift, down and lift, down and lift. Four more, four, three, two, one. Come down and pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna lift it up, so down and lift, down and lift. Keep the belly pulled towards the spine and lift. Down, lift, keep the legs in parallel, hips are quiet, facing your bar, facing your chair. Lift, three, lift, two, we're gonna pulse that leg out of the back, one, and lift, now pulse, eight, seven, six, five, keep it in parallel, three, two, lower and lift, tap it down, and lift, tap, and lift. Strong through your right leg, down, and lift, four more, four, 
three, two, one, lift it up. Now back to your crescent lunge and lift. So crescent lunge, lift, lunge, lift, lunge, lift. Last four, four, three, two, we're gonna pulse in the lunge, one and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, come on up, give your legs a little shake. Wipe the sweat off your brow. You'll be happy you're not in here because it's warm. Get a little drink. And we're gonna start to come down onto the floor. So, move your balance point out of the way. Come to the back of your mat. Find that nice, strong hip distance in the feet. Inhale, hands by your sides. Exhale, nod your chin. Roll the spine down, one vertebrae at a time. Pulling the belly in towards the spine, finding that nice roundness as you lower your hands towards the floor. Take a minute to pause in that forward fold and then bring your hands to the mat, bend your knees if you need to and walk your hands forward until you come into your plank. So remember, your plank up on your feet, back is long, hands are under the shoulders, squeeze the glutes. You can be on your knees, on curl the feet, push the hips forward, head is spraying between the shoulders. Whatever option you have for your plank, find it nice and strong, Pulling the belly towards the spine, the shoulders are nice and wide. Keep those scapula away from each other. If it's too much on your wrists, you can also come down to your elbows for your plank. Take the option that feels good for you. We're gonna be here for another 30 seconds. So pull the right knee in and push. Left and push. If you're on your knees, just reach the leg out and reach, okay? Pull it in and push. So it's like bicycling the feet. In and push. In and push three more. Three. In. Two. Keep the belly pulled in. In. Last one. In. And lower the knees. One. Two. Push it onto your heels. Stretch your hands forward. Good job. And just breathe. Stay there for a minute. Not a whole minute. <laughs> it's not an hour long class. <laughs> And then when you're ready, roll your belly away from the front of your thighs, bring yourself up onto your heels, and then back onto your hands. Send the right foot back, pull the belly in, send the left foot back, back into that plank. Okay, now from here, we're gonna do little baby bends in the elbows, so pre prepping for our push-ups. So if you're on your elbows, you'll need to come up on your hands for this, but remember, roll the mat up. So it's a little bend and push, little bend, push. So we're focusing on those triceps here, push. You can do them on your knees, push. Four, three, belly in, two, one, push it up and hold, two, three, four, lift the pelvic floor, three, two, and one, good job, pull those knees in, push your bum onto your heels, stretch the hands forward, stretching the shoulders, and then we're gonna bring ourselves forward onto our hands and knees, so you can be down on the elbows, we're doing our glutes on kneeling today. So hands under the shoulders or elbows directly under the shoulders. Widen the fingers, nice firm base of support and push into your fingertips. We're gonna slide the right foot back. I'm gonna move my mat forward a little bit for you. So slide that right foot back. Find that connection with the glute and the belly and then lift the leg. So pull the heel, the heel in, flex the foot and let's kick it up and lower. Kick and lower. Kick, keep pulling the belly in so you don't arch that lower back. Lower. Four. Keep the shoulders wide. Two. One. Now we're going to pulse it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Eight. More. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now kick it out. Pull it in. Out. And pull. Keep that leg at the same height. So you want to keep it at hip height. Pull. Keep thinking full contraction of those muscles. Pull. Quad. Hamstring. Quad. Hamstring. Four more. Pull. Three. Two. One. Pull it in and up and down. You can do a greater range of movement, movement now. 
up and down. Your bum's probably on fire. Down, four more, four. Make sure that your left leg is perpendicular to the floor. Last one, and pulse. Two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, wowzers. Sit your bum back. Stretch that butt a little bit. So really feel like you're pushing your bum back and lifting the chest so you get this nice stretch through the glutes there. Good job. Okay, let's bring ourselves forward and we get to do the other side. So I will flip myself around. Make sure your right leg is perpendicular to the floor. Hands directly under the shoulders or elbows directly underneath the shoulders. If they extend like this, you're going to start to hurt your shoulders or if you're crunched forward like that. So always make sure your contact with the mat is directly below the shoulder. Fingertips spread wide, belly in. Here we go. We're going to reach that leg back and then lift it to hip height. Flex the foot in, flex the ankle. So we've got that nice hip height. Here we go. Push it up and down. Lift, lift, lift. From the bum, keep the belly still. Belly's pulled in here, shoulders are wide. We'll lift. Last two. One, now we pulse, 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 pulse. Four, three, two, one, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep pushing those fingertips wide. Now we're going to push it out, pull it in. Kick and pull. And pull. Contract that quad as you, as you kick it out. Kick. Use the hamstring. Don't collapse into that right side. Keep hugging the belly in. Pull. Kick. And pull. Three more. Three. Keep it at hip height. Two. One. Lift it up. And a little bit of range of mo movement. Bigger range of movement. Down and lift. Down and lift. Four. Three. Two. One, now pulse. Two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and bring it down, knees together. Sit your bum back, so really spread your sit bones, tilt the pelvis forward, and push your bum back on your heels. Get that nice stretch through those glutes. And bring your head down for a minute and breathe. In through the nose, into the wide sides of the ribcage, and out through the mouth. And then just rock your hips over to the left side, so that the left side of your glute comes down to the mat. Good job. And then back onto your knees and over to the right side, stretching that right glute out a little bit more. And back onto your knees and then bring yourself up and we're going to flip ourselves around. So we're going to come onto our back now and we're going to do our glute bridge. So feet are hip distance, knees are hip distance. We're sat up nice and tall and then begin to roll the pelvis back one vertebrae at a time, bringing yourself down onto the floor. Pull the heels in so that the one hand length away from your bottom. Find that connection with the abdominals and then you're going to push your lower back into the floor, squeeze your glutes, push into the heels and begin to roll your spine away from the floor. So hands are down by your sides, turn the palms up towards the ceiling to keep those shoulders down and back. Squeeze your glutes and lift. Now we're going to lower just a little bit and lift, lower and lift. You want to make sure that you're not just tilting the pelvis down and then squeezing it up. You're actually lowering at the hip joint and squeezing, lower and squeeze. So we're not articulating through the spine, just movement at that hip joint. Down and lift. Two more. Down, lift, down, lift and hold. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and roll your spine down one vertebrae at a time. All the way down, release to, release to that neutral. I've got a knot on the back of my shop shirt, which is not very clever today. Okay, let's walk those feet away just a little bit. Reach the hands up towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, follow the eye gaze. Flex the spine forward so your head is directly above your shoulders. The belly is a neutral, so you've got that space under your lower back. And we're reaching up and then bringing ourselves down. And flexing up. And down. Flex. 
flexing up and down. We've got two more. Flex it up and down. Last one. Flex it up and now pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now from there, grab onto the back of your knees if you need to or pull the belly in and roll yourself all the way up to seated. Take whatever option you need to come up, okay? Grab onto the front of your knees, lift the spine up nice and long, and then you're gonna exhale, pull the pelvis back so you come behind your sit bones. You've got that nice little scoop in your lower abdominals, and then we're gonna float the hands up so that they're parallel with the shoulder, okay? Or the same level as the shoulder, active through those arms, pulling the belly in, and we're just gonna curl back a little bit more. And then a little bit more. Push your feet into the ground, keep those toes connected, and then lift it up, but don't come back onto the sit bones. Stay behind those sit bones. Curl it back and back. Hold and pull into the heels. Lift yourself up and back. Back, back, hold, and pull into the back of the legs. Lift it up, last set. And back, back. Hold and pull it up all the way. Now we're going back to that lowest point. Three, two, one. Hold it here. Turn to the right. So like that corkscrew. And we're going to lift it up a little. And back. Up and back. Lift. Lift. Four. Working that left oblique. Three. Keep pulling the belly button in. Two. Think about pulling your heels towards your bum and come to center. Turn to the left, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come to the center, bring it up and lift all the way up, hands on the knees. Lift your chest, push it forward just a little bit to stretch those abdominals. Good job. Okay, from there, bring your hands just in line with your hips and then bring yourself back onto your elbows, okay? So again, those elbows are directly in the shoulders, hands are long by our hips. We're gonna flex the right foot up and then the left. So we come into this balance point, pull your belly towards your spine and we're gonna tap the feet and lift. Tap and lift. So we're not changing the angle in the knee. We're opening the front of the hip. Tap, lift. This is abdominal workout. Lift, keep the collarbone nice and wide, keep smiling towards the front of the room or smiling towards your knees. Tap and pull, tap and pull. Breathe, breathe. <laughs> Last three, toe. Two, keep pulling the belly in. Two, last one. One, now lift it up, extend those legs and hold and lower just a little bit. And breathe. Lower a little bit more. And breathe. And then lower your back and hold. Four, three, two, one. Bend the knees. Bring the feet down to the floor. Open your hands out wide to the side. And then just drop the knees over the right side. Look towards the left. Take an inhale. Exhale towards the center. And then drop over to the left. Look towards the right. Keep that right shoulder down. And then into center one more time over the right. And center. And over to the left. And center. And then just roll over to the right and push yourself up to seated. We're going to sit in our mermaid seated. Seated? Mermaid? <laughs> We're sitting like a mermaid. So you're making your zigzag with your feet. So your right leg, for instance, will have the bend in the knee. And the sole of your right foot comes towards your left knee and your left knee is zigzag backwards. If that does not feel good for your knees, prop yourself up, or if that still doesn't feel good, by all means, sit cross-legged, okay? But have the right foot crossed in front of the left. Set up nice and tall, push your hands into your knees, lift the chest, and then relax. One more time, inhale, set up tall, push your hands into your knees, straighten your arms, straighten your back, and relax. Now keep that length, lift the right hand up, flex over to the left. And bring it down. Left hand, sweep it up. And down. Now we're just going to pick the knees up, spin the feet around. So left knee, zigzag, left sole of the foot is on the right thigh. 
right foot is back or cross your legs so your left foot is crossed in front of the right. Push in your hands into your knees, lift the chest, straighten the arms and relax. Inhale, lift and relax. This time lift without pushing with the hands and we're going to sweep that right, uh, left hand up. So sweep it up, flex it over, lengthen up and lower other side, right and over, lengthen and lower. And that's it. You guys are done. Well done. And we'll see you tomorrow.